Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to reset MySQL root password from the Windows Server. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. In order to reset the MySQL root password, you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Log in into your system or server with an administrator user. Step 2. Stop MySQL service if it is running. Step 3. Create a text file with the name MySQL in it. Step 4. Execute the MySQLD command with MySQL init file. Step 5. Start the MySQL service. Step 6. Verify new MySQL password through command prompt or phpMyAdmin. Let's go through the steps in detail. Step 1. Log in into your system or server with an administrator user. Here, we will use our demo VPS credential to log in into the Windows server with administrator user. You can see that we are successfully logged in into Windows Server with an administrator user. Here, we have used Windows Server 2012 with MySQL Server 5.7 to show you how to reset the root password of the MySQL Server. The current root password of our MySQL Server is this. We need to reset it with this password. Here, we will use phpMyAdmin application to access the MySQL server through a web browser. Now, we are going to access our MySQL server with the current password. In the username field, we will use root. In the password field, we will use the current MySQL password. You can see that we are successfully logging in with our current password. Step 2. Stop MySQL service if it is running. In order to reset the root password, first, you need to stop the MySQL service if it is running. In order to stop it, you need to click on the Windows Start button located on the bottom left side of the screen. After then click on the Windows Administrative Tools. Once you click on it, the Administrative Tools window will be open. 
Locate Services option and right-click on it. Select the Open option and click on it to open it. By clicking on it, one window will be opened with the name Services. Locate MySQL service in the Name column and click on it. Once you click on it, you will get a stop option on the left side of the screen. Click on the stop link to stop MySQL service. If you get only the start option on the left side of the screen, it means that MySQL service is stopped in your Windows system. If your server is not running as a service, you may need to use the task manager to force it to stop. Step 3. Create a text file with the name MySQL in it. Now, you need to create a text file and add a password assignment statement on it. Click on the search option located on the bottom left side of the screen. Type notepad in the search windows. Once you type on it, you will get the notepad application above. Select and click on it to open it. By clicking on it, notepad will be opened. Now, you need to add a password assignment statement in this text file. Replace the my new password with the password you want to use. Here, we have used this password because we want to set it. Now, it is time to save this file. Go to the file menu and click on it. After then click on the save option. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name save as. Go to the left side of the screen and select this PC option. After then click on the arrow option. Go to the C drive option and click on it. In the file name field, enter a name that you want to set for the file. Here we have used MySQL in it as an example. In the save as type field, select the text documents option from the drop down list. After then click on the save button to save it. You can see that your file is saved with the name MySQL in it. Step 4. Execute the MySQLD command with MySQL in it file. In order to execute my SQLD command, you need to open the command prompt. Go to the taskbar and click on the search icon. Type CMD in the search windows option. Once you type it, the command prompt application will appear above. Right click on it. Select the option Run as Administrator and click on it. Once you click on it, the command prompt window will be opened with the Administrator user. Now, you need to go to the MySQL installation folder. Here, 
We would like to inform you that if you have installed MySQL server through MySQL installer then the default installation directory is C colon slash program files slash MySQL slash MySQL server 5.7 slash if you have used the zip archive method to install MySQL then it will be C colon slash MySQL slash MySQL server 5.7 slash go to the command prompt type cd space enters the default installation directory of the MySQL server and press enter since we have installed MySQL server from the MySQL installer, the default installation directory will be C colon slash program files slash MySQL slash MySQL server 5.7 slash bin. Once you press enter, you can see that you are entered into the bin directory from where you can execute the MySQL file. Now you need to execute my sqld.exe command to reset the root password. Execute this command if you have installed MySQL server through zip archive method. Execute this command if you have installed MySQL server through MySQL installer. Since we have installed MySQL server through MySQL installer, we will use this command to reset the root password. Copy the command. Paste it in the command prompt and press enter. Once you press enter, mysqld.exe process will be executed. After then, go to the task manager. Right click on the taskbar and select task manager option. Click on it to open it. Once you click on it, the task manager window will be open. Click on the details section. Here, you will see the processes which are running in your VPS or system or dedicated server. Locate my SQLD process and select it. After then right click on it and select the end task option to stop or kill it. By clicking on it, you will get one pop-up with the name task manager. In the pop-up, it will ask you do you want to end or stop my SQLD.exe service. Here, you have to click on the end process button to stop it. Once you click on it, the pop-up will be closed and the service will be stopped. You can see that the MySQLD.exe service is stopped. Step 5. Start the MySQL service. Now, you need to start the MySQL service from the services. Select the service tab which is already open from the task bar. Locate the MySQL service and select it. Go to the left side of the screen. Click on the start link to start the MySQL service. Once you click on it, the MySQL service will be started. If it is started then you have successfully reset the root password of the MySQL service. Step 6. Verify new MySQL password through command prompt or phpMyAdmin.
you can verify the new root password by login into your MySQL server through the command line or through phpMyAdmin. Here, we will use the phpMyAdmin option to verify it. In the username field, we will use root. In the password field, we will enter the new MySQL password. You can see that we are successfully logging in with the new root password. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to reset MySQL root password from Windows Server. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.